Hey, hello and welcome to today's video. So in this video, uh, we'll be seeing how to add validations to the form that we created in our previous video. So this is the form that we created, which has a couple of basic fields like first name, last name, email, and passwords. So here we'll see how to add some basic validations. So I'll straight away take you to the code. So this is the Synex component that we created in our last tutorial. So we need to add validations to these text boxes. So I'll do one thing, I'll just keep a variable for setting the errors, like let's say for name error. Set name error. We'll be using use state uh, hook here. And this will be having some default values like empty. Okay. That's for the name error. So similarly, we'll add a couple of more variables for other fields also. So this one is for like first name. So I'll just keep it first name. Name error. The def name error. I'll just copy this thing. Let's create another one for the last name and for the password field and then for the email also i just modify it it's a uh, name and it's a name set name and here we have email email error Email error, password error, the password error. Okay. So I have used those values. Now, what I'll do is I'll go to our text field. So here, first name. So here we'll add like um, set this error. Uh, there's a property called error that we can set here. The Boolean property. So we can set it based on uh, f name error, f name error, and f name error dot length. Then we set this to true, else it will be false, right? And that should do and similarly we need to show some error message also so there's some helper text that we can add helper text which will be f name error okay right now if you see here it's not, nothing is showing up there so like when the user clicks on the button so we have the submit form button here We'll validate. We'll just see if uh, form data dot what is the name that we added that uh, it's first name here. So we'll just check if form data dot first name and form data. dot first name dot length just negate this thing or this at that time we'll be setting the values at that time we'll set f name error like set f name error to name is required right and we'll return false from here similarly we'll add it for the other ones also so here i'll add this form data dot uh, last name and i'll set f name instead of f name i'll set a name to name is required uh, okay here we'll say first name is required first name is required last name is required 
right? Okay. This is a small L here, right? Let's copy this thing, go to the next line. The third field is email for us. So here we can see email. So we'll just check that thing. F this dot email or email dot length is not there. Okay, set email is required. Email is required, set email error. Yeah. Email error, okay, great. Similarly for password also. So I'll just add it here dot password dot password set password error password is required. Yeah. Then we'll return true if everything is good. Okay. Now I'll just reload the form. So here we see just okay. So I'll just click on the sign up button. Let's see if it works or not. I click here. Do so you see that first name is required? It says right. Similarly, if I fill in first name, and if I don't fill others, uh, it's, it's like it's like okay, it doesn't work. Yeah. Why it's not working? Yeah. I fill it up and I go to sign up. The other one is not working. Let's see why it's not working. So here it goes to here. That's that first name is required. Okay. Else. I'll just set the value to empty if everything is good with F name error, yeah? Right. So once we have the value, I click once again. So this thing doesn't show error, but the second thing should show the error. We have last name, right? So we are checking for form data and all, and we are setting the F name errors and all. So the thing being, we haven't set the data here. So here we added uh, this thing, right? Similarly, we need to add on the other ones also, right? So here I'll add. This one and this will be uh, a name error, a name error, and here also we need to add the helper text. Yeah, add it. It's a uh, name error, right? I'll add this thing here also. We add it here also. So here it's email. And just make it email yeah here also email error right and helper text email error okay great similarly for password also we'll go to text field here i like password so here you go with password so We'll just throw in password error. Yeah, password error, password error. Okay, now here also you need to add uh, this helper text. Helper text to this value. Right, now this thing will work probably. I'll just uh, go to the form. Yeah, I'll just refresh and show once again. So if we fill nothing, it shows first name is required and all right. We fill in first name it goes away and says second name is not last name is not required if i fill this thing up and so maybe we can modify it a bit so i i, I just want to show it for the data which which are not there so probably i'll add this else condition to everything yeah i just add else here also else here also else here also yeah okay and we can add that a name error as empty here. Yeah. Email error. Right. Password error. I'll just save this thing. Refresh and run once again. Now it shows up for first one. I fill in the data. Click on second one, it shows up for second one, fill in the data. Sign up, it shows the third one. Now, what if we want to show it for all the fields, like at once? Like initially, you see, 
And when I click on sign up, it only shows for first name is required, right? Let's make it for all the fields. So instead of returning from here, yeah, we do we don't return from here. Let's remove the returns. Okay, great. So now it will show for every field at once. So when I click sign up here, yeah, it shows for every field. But now one issue is there. It it will go to the form will get submitted. So we just keep on status flag here somewhere. Uh let's say let form dirty. I'll set it to false. Yeah. And I just set this thing to true whenever we have a validation issue, right? Form dirty will be true here. Similarly here also. Similarly here also. And here also. And at last we can simply check if form is dirty or not. Form dirty. If not form dirty. Load. All good. Else. Uh, fix the validation issues yeah based on this we can we know whether the form is all good or not i'll just save this thing and i'll run this thing so initially when you see first name everything is the blank so i click on sign up this fix the validation issues and everything shows up right uh, just fill this thing in, sign up, fix the validation issues, yeah, okay, and also, entered password also, I click sign up, all good, everything goes in, right, so now this is how you can validate your forms, uh, react forms, using uh, use state and all, use state and the helper text, uh, help protect and error, error, error properties in this material UI. So I hope you find this video useful. Uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.